look is going to be on this black sort of glittery smoky eye. This is something I'll wear for clubbing, girls night out, even the bar to have some drinks. Sometimes I'll even wear this for a date night because my boyfriend loves like a dark smoky eye. This is actually his favorite look on me. So if you want to see how I got this makeup look, then keep watching. I'm just going to go into my Smashbox Full Exposure palette and take the bone shade. There's only this one. And I'm going to just set the lids. So I'm going to be using my Modern Renaissance palette as well today. And the Smashbox Full Exposure, I'm really only going to use the one shadow, this like shimmery bluish black glitter shadow. It's really pretty. I love it. So the first shade I'm going to go into is Burnt Orange. And I'm going to use this as a transition shade. Oh my god, just like looking in my viewfinder, I can see that I look super pale. And I wish I could say that I look this pale only on camera, but I'm pretty pale this winter. This is like the first year in a long time, long, long time, that I am embracing my pale winter skin. Because usually I'll fake tan in the winter. Not like actual stand-up boots. I used to do those a long time ago. Very bad for your skin. But I do... Um, like a sunless tanner, like St. Tropez or something like that every winter. But this winter, nope. Just embracing my pale skin. And my face is so red and itchy and burning right now. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell, I have these like red splotches. It's because I'm allergic to my dog's saliva. I was just playing with my dogs and I started like touching my face. Here I am trying not to scratch my face off. So the next shade I'm gonna take is Love Letter. It's like a magenta. And I'm gonna pop that just below Burnt Orange. And now taking Red Ochre on that same brush, I'm gonna place this right in the crease and like softly blend it into the rest of the transition shades. So putting most of the product right here in the crease. And if you want, just take a clean, fluffy blending brush just to go over these edges. And I'm going to switch back to the first uh, transition brush that I was using and go back into Burnt Orange. And I'm just going to run that right along the edge right here just to soften it a bit. So I just switched brushes to a little bit more of a tapered brush just because I wanted to really pack on red ochre right in the crease so that when I add the black, I don't have such like a harsh line between the black and this red ochre color. So I just want to really deepen up the crease because this is how far I'm going to bring that black up to. Okay, using the same brush, I'm going to dip into the black in the Smashbox Full Exposure palette and really tap off the excess. I think I went a little too ham. I was, I was talking and I was just like swirling my brush in it a million times. I actually wanted to just tap into the product. So you don't want to put a lot on at a time. I'm going to actually just wipe off some of this excess on a cloth. So now that there's not as much product on my brush, I'm just going to really softly blend this into the crease. And I'm really taking my time and building up this color. Just taking a little bit at a time. So now that I have blended out the black into the crease, I'm going to take a black eye pencil. This is the Urban Decay Perversion and just place this on my lid. And I'm gonna stop just before the crease, just before where I put that black shadow. And I'm gonna do one eye at a time. As soon as I put it down, I'm gonna go in with a brush and blend it out. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you wanna blend it out as much as you can. And that's the reason why I didn't go all the way up to the crease, just so that there's a little bit of leeway in case you kind of need to blend it out up just a touch further. And you want to use an eyeliner that is creamy enough so that you can have time to blend it out once you've put it on the lid and then eventually it sets. And this black liner just helps the black shadow that we're going to put over top appear super black and pigmented, but it does not have to be like a perfect blend. Don't you worry. You just want to have that like dark smoky base. Okay, switching to a flat shader brush like this, I'm going to dip into the black and I'm just going to set that eyeliner that we put on. I'm just using padding motions and packing this all over the lid. And I like to start right near the lash line and as there's less product, then I will bring it up to the crease gradually. You don't want to go in with too much black right at the crease because when you blend it out, it'll just like go up to your eyebrow. Make sure that it's really opaque 
And I'm gonna take that small little crease brush that I was using, really swirl my brush into the black, and really lightly blend right in the crease. I'm just adding a little bit more eyeliner right at the outer edge of my eye because I don't feel like I brought it out far enough. So I'm just adding that there, going back with that little bullet brush. Just taking a little bit more black and this time I'm bringing it up to the crease. I have a little bit less on my brush, but I've blended out quite a bit of black in the crease already, so it does look smoky. I'm holding my brush up kind of high like this so that I blend downwards, as opposed to holding it down here and blending upwards towards my brow. I'm gonna just hold my brush slightly up higher and blend downwards. All right, so at this point you're probably like, okay, this girl's lost it. You're probably be a little bit scared and being like, this is way too dark, but I promise you, I promise you, it'll come together once we put the face on, once we do the lashes, we darken up the brows and extend it a little bit. Trust me, not even the most beautiful, beautiful, beautiful woman in the world looks good with a black smoky eye and no other makeup on. Uh, now I wanna pop on a little bit of glitter just in the center of the lid, so I'm taking my CoverGirl Lid Lockup eyeshadow primer. I just put some out on my hand like this, taking it on a small little concealer brush, and I'm going to just pat this onto the center of the lid. And now I'm taking that same brush that I was packing on the black shadows with, and I'm gonna dip into this glittery color. Every time I do the like a black shadow, I love using this glitter. So pretty. So I'm just tapping that on. Mm, I love it. It is so pretty. I don't even think the camera does it any justice. And now just to blend out this harsh line, like right here, I'm going to take another clean synthetic shader brush and tap into that black, the matte black. And I just wanna press it where that little edge is. You can always go in and add a little bit more of that black shimmer afterwards, but I just wanna blend out these harsh edges first. You know what, next time I use that glitter glue before I pack on the shadow on top of it, I'm definitely going to have to blend out the edges of it because it can look pretty harsh if you don't do that. I'm just going back into the shimmery shade now I'm just gonna take a little bit of dip brow just to intensify my brow. I like to do a bolder brow when I'm doing bold eyes because it just looks better. Like, I mean, I'm not really trying to go for that super natural brow today. Obviously there's nothing natural about this look. So gotta intensify the brows so that they don't just like disappear into my face because there's so much focus on the eyes that you do need to darken the brows a bit. I'm just taking the bone shade in the palette and just using it as a brow bone highlight. So I'm just gonna hit my lashes with some mascara before I go in with falsies. And while I'm waiting for my mascara to dry, I'm just taking a makeup wipe and just using my nail, I'm just gonna clean up the edge of my eyeshadow. And I like to cut my eyeshadow in the same angle that's going in the direction of my tail. So if my tail was extended down to here, then they would meet. I'm gonna go on with lashes like this. They're actually really long, so I think they'll show up with this super dark eye look. Okay, so we're back, lashes are on. I finished my face off camera because I've done it like a million times and it just saves this video from being like 15 minutes long and it saves me editing and also I wanted to watch Gossip Girl, so. Finishing off the lower lash line, I'm taking that same Urban Decay Perversion and I'm just gonna dot this along my lash line, not in the waterline, but my actual lash line. And I'm taking a little pencil brush just to blend it out. I'm gonna blend it down pretty far. I'm just gonna take that black shadow and go over the eyeliner right up against the lash line. Next, I'm gonna go back into my Modern Renaissance palette and I'm gonna take a little bit of red ochre, and I'm gonna use that and place it right underneath the black, right along the edge, just to smoke it out and that it's not a harsh line of black. You don't want it to go from like concealer right to black, so I want it to just fade from the red ochre up to the black. And for the inner corner highlight, like I personally just love the inner corner highlight. I always do it no matter what look I'm doing. You can skip this. I think it still looks really like sexy and smoky without it. 
But I'm gonna take this lighter silvery shade and I'm gonna just place that right in the inner corner. Now I'm just gonna put some mascara on my bottom lashes. I'm gonna do two coats of it just because my top lashes are really long. And we're trying to go for all the drama. I want these eyes to be popping. And lastly for lips, I'm just gonna go with a really nude lip. So this is MAC Whirl. And for lipstick, I'm going in with this Laritzi liquid lip I got in my Ipsy Glam Bag. So after I finished the lips and everything, I went back in with a makeup wipe and I cleaned up the inner corner a bit because it wasn't as bright as I wanted it to be and it looked kind of like muddy in there. So I just cleaned it up and I'm taking my Too Faced Chocolate Gold Palette. I'm going to take the shade Rich Girl right here. Okay, there we go. Now it's just brightening up our face a little bit so that our eyes not completely consumed in the black. Alright you guys, now we are fierce. We are ready to go out and slay. I won't be going out this weekend because I went out last weekend and I don't go out every weekend anymore. Those days are long behind me. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Stay safe and I'll see you in my next video.